Sunder yeah, Sander, yeah. welcome to Sea Talk. First time on Sea Talk. Yeah, sort of uh, nice to hear from you, Paul. And it's been a long time. Um, and obviously, sort of uh, fascinating times, um, which has been really, really good. Um, so, a bit about myself. Um, yeah, go on. I've uh, been, I'm born in Leamington Spa, a true Lemontonian. Um, Is that what I call it? Lemontonian? Lemontonian. That's what we call right, it. Nice. Lemontonian. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Um, opened the shop 1983, uh, June the 9th, uh, Thursday. Um, when Margaret Thatcher won the election second time, it was, right. a nice sunny, it was a nice sunny day, so um, can never forget that day. No, and it was a sort of a, a 200 square foot store, floral carpet, and just bodged up some metal shelving and went up to Stratford upon Avon and used to get sort of um, used to be an auction there and used to get my produce from there, which were overgrown um eggs goose eggs quail eggs right. so i had a bit of a niche a niche market for what i was doing and yeah. uh, and i had it an old 50 pound sherpa van uh, which i bought from the scrapyard and every mm. time i drove off the doors would slide off as well so uh, yeah. um only, only would travel two miles and i had to overfill the water because the engine was overheating no no not 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 a chance so it may do, you know, sort of like three times to Stratford upon Avon, coming back, doing the sort of, um, you know, the, the fruit and veg. Then I say myself um, £100 for a better van, and then yeah. I managed to go to cash and carry. And from there, sort of the shops from 200 square foot, so now it's 2,000 square foot, uh, well kitted out. So over the years, I've seen a lot of changes, a lot of people come and change and mm. left the place. A lot of elderly have gone. There's major roads being built because the road, the, the, the sort of roads can't cope with the lorries, um, new housing estates yeah. up the road. We've got sort of affluent sort of um, customers now who travel to London on a daily basis. So things have changed completely over the years. And you've um, changed faces and stuff over the years. Sorry, what's that? You've changed faces over the years. Yeah, yeah. So sort of um, I was independent and then I was Londis and last seven years I became One Stop Franchise, helped, front, helped One Stop sort of uh, the franchise route and it's been a real good for, good move Let's for me. Let's not kid because... ourselves, you're poster boy. Well, okay. So so you should be. If you say that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so so with One Stop, I think, again, it's it's not for everyone. You know, it's a lot of compliance. Mm. Um, and then sort of for me, it was good because um, I, I'm now sort of not much in the business. I overlook the business and, um, you know, I've added a lot of sort of um, to the business as well, like all platforms, you know, Tango Ice, everybody's got Tango Ice plugs sort of, and, uh, yeah. and you've got the rollover hot dogs. So you always, you, you always look at what, what, what is now, what is sort of next coming to the market. Yeah. And, uh, obviously, delivery is a big thing now as well. So, so, so over the years, you know, things have changed. Um, eating habits as well now, sort of, it's more getting towards healthy. Whereby I would, you know, going back now, 10, 15 years, I would never ever would have thought, you know, my chill cells are now hitting virtually par with tobacco cells. You know, yeah. sort of, um, it would ne never ever, I would never ever thought that. What's up um, with the samosas now? Then I know, I know yeah, you're the favourite yeah, samosa. So samosas again. I still have the old old biddy sort of. Uh, she does a few hundred every Saturday. That's all she can cope with. No more. So Saturday we have people sort of ready to actually yeah. purchase the samosas. All that, all we actually get them sort of booked earlier. And if they want someone wants a party, we'll have mm. them as well. Um, again, because they're unique. Um, yeah, this lady, the masala, she actually grinds the seeds, and oh, hence yeah. that, that gives it a really sort of a, a, a pucker taste, which is sort of a, a really, really sort of a, a unique. Yeah, we've got. We've got a shop in Leamington who does the most. It, it just does not part of what, what we sell. You know, well, I've been sell... in and I've, and I've tried them. So, yeah. Oh, can... There you go then. So, you've tried I've them. I've been in a number of times over yeah, the years. Yeah, you know. exactly. Yeah. So, so you know, the, the, the shop which does sell them, um, people don't like it. You know, you sell them 50 pence each. Ours are, you know, £1.50. But you know what? You know, you've got a good quality samosa there, um, nice. which, 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 especially the Uni Warwick Universities love as well um they they love these sort of bits and pieces as well so yeah it, it's things have changed a lot over the years and i sort of um um on top of that i just had these new chillers sort of um put in which uh, the first 
in the world to have the A star rating and um, oh, uh, right. it's, it's yeah they they, um, they, they sort of um, um, got these sort of obviously they all got doors but what I like is they the, the doors are self closing. Um, okay, and, and and these are just 13 plug in, you know, plug in sort of chillers, so they're just great. We just pull them all out the old chillers, which were sort of remotes, um, uh, put the new ones in, and by by starts at nine o'clock, taking the ripping, ripping the old ones out by four o'clock in the evening, all the stock was back in and they're up and running again. It was just a simple oh, process, so. it's, it's just a simple plug in, and it's saving me tremendous electricity costs per month as well. And oh, brilliant. It, and also, you know, I'm sort of shouted out to my customers that, you know, we're, it's, you know, we're being a bit green, sort of look, like looking after the planet. And, um, you know, on Facebook, sort of social media, I've got a lot of good feedback saying it's good to sort of see local stores doing that. So, yeah, that, that, was, that was a really win-win for I've us. I've always thought if you do it and said to everyone, if you're ever doing anything good in store, you might as well tell people. You know, there's exactly. just no downside to that whatsoever. Exactly. And the environmental stuff is the stuff to shout about. Especially now. And I think I was yeah. so surprised because, you know, sort of um, I, I put it on our Lemington notice board and it's the amount of people that sort of were coming back and saying, you know, it's so good. A local store is, is doing this. And, um, yeah, yeah it, it's just that sort of, uh, I think, again, it's going back to a lot of us do this, but we're not shouting about it. Nah, exactly uh, right. we, we should do that, yeah. So Halloween's coming up. Like, mm. I can't ignore this. I see yeah. we've done quite a lot on this. Yes. Are you doing anything in store for, for Halloween? Yeah, well, I've sort of, uh, I've heavily been on social media, on sort of um, a local page and sort of uh, the buy and sell with yeah. these uh, Squid Game masks and key rings. And gosh, I just can't believe how popular they've been. Um, especially the kids. Yeah, you know, honestly, thought you know, I should so be watching watch, that. I've seen it. It's brutal. Well, exactly, it's so brutal. And the kids come in, they look and they and they go, "Daddy, daddy, me, I want a key." And it's not. And then it's and then after that, they go, "You know, green light, red light. I want one." No, it's, well, look what look what look what happened to us today. Look what came in. Even Squid Games, pink soldiers love convenience. What would you do if they came to your store? That is so they're getting everywhere. They're getting everywhere. So it just shows sort of uh, <laughs> watch out, watch out for that van if they if they pull you in and, and sort of uh, put you to sleep and take you elsewhere. <laughs> exactly <laughs> right. Exactly <laughs> right. So what's next? What's next, Sunder? So Halloween sort of um, obviously got Halloween out of the way. So it's good, like I was saying, the Squid Game. I think that's been absolutely brilliant. I think it brings a buzz in the store. Yeah, you know, which yeah, which, which, you know, I think that's that's what our stores want. Yeah, you know, and don't just stop there. Yeah, you know, shout about it on social media and you get yeah, you know, sort of have a bit of an interaction because yeah, you know, there's there's a lot of sort of uh, customers saying, well, you know, sort of yeah, you know, it's ninety five percent of clearly saying it's 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 great having these sort of things. You get the five percent. Well, I don't want my kids, which is understandable. I yeah, watch, yeah, I've seen and it. Younger kids, there's no way I would want the younger kids to watch that. Yeah, you know, the no. man is shooting. So the next thing now, I think at, at the moment, I think customers, I think retailers really need to be on board is having big stacks for Christmas. I yeah, think they yeah, really yeah. As soon as soon as this Halloween's out of the way, which is for you know this weekend, I think you know what it's getting there now because I think if we leave it too late, you miss the boat. It's now, you know, big customers right. are buying buying confectionery now, and I've done big displays, you know, sort of tubs and sort of uh, the offers and the biscuit yeah. tubs and all, and they, you know, to my surprise, I've never ever seen them sell us selling so fast. It's only because mm. I've stacked them high and I'm really sort of put the price point and really sort of. Um, uh, put on social media. So the other thing I would say, also say is that the biggest day for us now is Boxing Day. As, right, you, okay. as you're fully aware now, the supermarkets are clearly saying we're not open on Boxing Day this year. Oh. And, you know, this is our day. This is this is our day when we're going to have new customers come in our shop because all the supermarkets will be closed. It'd be more like an Easter day, really, where yeah. we have new customers come in. You know, make the most of it. You know, sort of do something right. special in your store. You know, sort of, even if it means sort of giving out some more sampling, you know, you want these new customers, you want to, you want to grab them down. So sort of, this is a great opportunity. So I always say, you know, make the most of Boxing Day this year, definitely. Good man. So I'd usually, yeah. the, we've actually, we've done 10 minutes. Uh, it always goes ridiculously quick. Um, of course, when you do really? Sort of stuff. Yeah, 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 serious. Yeah. I was all, yeah. I always say, what are your top tips? But you've actually given us the top tips top already. Tip. So, so thank you for that. Yeah. Get the big yeah. stacks going immediately after after <laughs> Halloween. 
yeah. So, oh, yeah. So I think again, like I was saying, it's the squid games. You know, if, if customers get, if the if the retailers can get some of that product and really, you know, I, I know Halloween's early this weekend, but I think they still sell after Halloween as well, getting the Christmas yeah, cards. Yeah, well. for a bit, weren't they? Um, but but you know what, I, I would really go for the, the Boxing Day. That's that's for us now. Yeah, you know, for the for the for the retail for the convenience retail sector, Boxing Day is our day this year. Good man. Sunder, thank you so much for joining no, us. No problem whatsoever. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Paul. Thank Cheers, you. Bro. Take care, my friend. Thanks. Bye.